Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right. So, Tony Bell, you along with David Hay, has basically came out and said, "Hey, um, we believe Canelo is juicing. We believe that Canelo, you know, is is you know, off that shit. You know." You know, not the shit that you snort up your nose, but the shit that you, um, you know, inject or you, you take pills or whatever the case may be. Because they don't believe that he's legit based off him going up all these weight classes and fighting at, you know, for him, the high level that he fights at. They basically is claiming that he's not legit. Now, we know Canelo fans is going to get all uptight and get mad and say we hating. But how can you say we hating when it's documented that Canelo was popped and suspended for PED use? So how is that hating? Now, don't come on here and try to bring up somebody else. This my shit. The only one that's going to bring up somebody else is me because this is my shit. I told you I don't cater to a certain demographic of people and I don't watch what I say because I want certain demographics of people to come on my channel. Basically, I ain't going to say nothing about no Mexican fighter because I want Mexican fighters to come on my channel praising me for basically soft shoeing my channel. I'm telling you right now, you got the wrong motherfucking channel if you think I'm a soft shoe. If, if it's like this, if I criticize my own people fighters that look like me I'm damn sure gonna criticize a fighter that don't look like me but you Canelo fans you don't have the right or you you know what I'm saying you you, you don't have the right or the clout or basically the nerve to try to tell us that we can't be suspicious of Canelo when he's documented for being popped Okay, and I know a lot of people, that, you know, don't want to address this, but at the end of the day, where there's smoke, it could be fire. I don't know, but you've heard for years that Canelo has been hesitant to issue random drug testing in his fight. Now, he can make all the demands to basically handicap you by giving you a short camp and basically, you know, trying to control your weight and that type of stuff. Because he's known for doing that. But as far as the drug thing go, I don't know. But it wouldn't surprise me because... It was funny, you had, um, you know, one dude making a video, you know, Marcos from Fight Hype saying it's not even close that Canelo is pound for pound number one. Well, that's his fucking opinion. That don't mean I have to agree. And at the end of the day, Marcos is Mexican like Canelo. Am I saying he might be showing uh, Canelo some love because they both Mexican? Hell yeah. Do I blame him? Hell no. Am I okay with him doing that? Hell yeah. Am I saying that Bud is number one because he black? Well, you decide. If you think I'm saying Bud is number one because he black like me, well, fine. But at the end of the day, Bud has proven himself. Bud deserves that, that spot right up there with Canelo. Canelo ain't never been undefeated. I mean, excuse me, he ain't never been undisputed. Bud is still undefeated. Canelo have one loss. You can make an argument he could have had, you know, two. But that's neither here or there. He's only lost one time. And the only person he lost to is a dude that just got put in the boxing hall of fame which you know canelo's um you know fans still can't get over 
you know, the ass whooping that Canelo took via Floyd Mayweather. I mean, Canelo was doing the WAP. I mean, Canelo was, you know, bobbing his red head like Chucky the way uh, Floyd was like hitting his ass upside the head. <laughs> I mean, Canelo got hit with every type of punch you can think of. He was getting backed up. He couldn't, I, I mean, Floyd just like, man for real Floyd just like beat the Ticante out of Canelo he did everything but you know the funny part about it was his his corner considered stopping the fight for what I heard but you know at the end of the day you know Canelo bounced back but he's um at the end of the day we don't like every uh opponent choice that he's made since Floyd Mayweather but does Canelo deserve a spot on the pound for pound list? Absolutely. But does that mean I can't criticize him for not taking certain fights? Of course not. Of course I can criticize him. He's a pound for pound fighter, but he ain't going after all the smoke. And like I said, you Canelo fans wasting your time. You ain't finna come on here and tell me that I have to say Canelo is number one pound for pound. Why? Because you probably going to be Mexican. And you think I'm supposed to say Canelo is pound for pound number one because you might be Mexican and come on here. Well, you got the wrong dude. That don't mean shit to me. So I'm just telling you. You wasting your fucking time coming on here trying to pull that shit. Like I said, you better take that shit back to Marco's channel. Go go to his channel. Like I said, you go talk that Viva La Mexico shit on this channel. This is a brother right here. You talking to a brother. Um, so, like I said, you're not going to convince me that Canelo is number one. Like I said, if you think he number one, that's your opinion. But you wasting your time trying to argue with me. It's not like you could change my mind. You can sit up there and put in your fake facts in the comment section all you want. But like I said, it's not going to deter me. It's not going to change my mind. I have Bud, number one. If you don't like it, you know, once again, too fucking bad. Take your ass somewhere else. But let's get to, once again, let's get back to the whole drug thing. Like I said, you can't be mad if people are suspicious of Canelo. Tony Tony Bellew is not just coming up with some outlandish accusations. It's the same shit with Tyson Fury. People making it look like people just falsely accusing Tyson Fury of cheating versus Deontay Wilder. But they acted like it's not history behind the, the you know the accusations that people are making towards Tyson Fury. People act like this is just coming out of left field. When actually, you know what I'm saying, it's basically a grand slam home run like from Barry Bonds. I mean, it's a it's a packed stadium. It's a sold out stadium with spectators you know so I, I don't understand well I do understand why people are trying to play these games like they don't understand why people are making these accusations versus Tyson Fury when you have a paper trail a video trail and I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean like for real in the same thing with Canelo like you, it's a paper trail. And to me, Canelo got a, uh, uh, you, you know, to me, Canelo got a slap on the wrist. And I think he ain't getting criticized like he should. Cause we all know if Canelo's name had been, you know what I'm saying? Rod, Roderick Wilson or something like that. And you know, he tested positive for PEDs. People would still be talking about that. 
So like I said, Tony Bellew is not out of whack what he's saying. It has some value to it. It has some merit to it. He has something to stand on to support his claims about Canelo. For real. Just like that Warren G song. Do you see what I see every day? I, I, I can see that people trying to play stupid about Canelo and his history. Yeah, I said it. Like, like for real. Do I believe that Canelo is personally on PEDs? I don't know. I don't know. But you've been hearing that you've been hearing that Canelo haven't been taking um, random drug tests for his fights. And you have to ask the question, did he take random drug tests for this fight? And if, if he didn't, why not? Because like I said, keep in mind, Canelo has been real sketchy and, and and real suspicious and funny style about wanting to take random drug tests. So that's another reason why you have this cloud of suspicion. So like I said, we're not making this shit up. We're only going by history. So, you know, that's all I have to say. Let me move on. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.